Five Outfit Friday. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Hey everybody, Parker here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we focus on building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. If you like the sound of that, join the gang. Today we have another wonderful episode of Five Outfit Friday, the short video series where I show you five easy outfit ideas you can wear this weekend. You can save it for later, whatever you want. I've been doing good about putting out two videos a week. This past week was a little bit crazy, so unfortunately I haven't put out anything since last Five Outfit Friday. But if there's ever anything that you are really wanting to see or you wanna learn about, drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you're interested in. That's enough talking, here's Five Outfits. For a casual night out, I am really, really becoming a fan of shorts and a long sleeve top. It feels a little crazy, but it just keeps me cool enough while also keeping me warm enough all at the same time. It's a little crazy, but I'm telling you guys, a small little detail like this sweatshirt has, that dinosaur, it's a perfect conversation starter. You have no idea throwing on some accessories just because you wanna keep things a little bit more classy, but you have no idea whose attention you'll grab and you might meet a, a girl or a person for a job or whatever. Little moves like that are a really easy way to make a big impact. Dressy night out, I've shown you these Wrangler Rancher pants before, guys. I'm obsessed with them with this bolder floral button-up shirt. It's flowy, it's fun, it's kind of 70s inspired. I really, really love the dark colors on the bottom with the loafers and the pants, and then you allow the colors of the shirt to really pop against the dark of the rest of the outfit. A Little bit of a gold accent there, some loafers with some no-show socks just to kind of class things up a little bit. I'm showing you here that if you're not a fan of unbuttoning your shirt a bunch, you can totally rock it with them buttoned a little more and you're still gonna look real nice. For date night, we are throwing a total curveball this week. A casual suit styling is such a solid move to take a date out on a nice dinner or a walk or whatever you're doing. Throwing something on like this, just a nice fitted suit with some dress boots. You could even do a sneaker if you don't wanna go this dressy, but it's just gonna grab attention. It's gonna be memorable. If you're really trying to make a statement and you're trying to make sure that your date goes as well as it can, throwing on a suit like this, I have the same ring on from before. And again, we don't wear a watch on a date. If you want to, you can, I don't like to. These dress boots are from Aldo, I'm a huge fan, but it just is gonna be a total attention grabber in the best possible way. For daytime casual, I'm a huge fan of darker colors because whatever I'm doing, if it ends up taking longer than I thought and it runs into the evening, I feel good because this outfit could totally work for our casual night out. A high top sneaker, I've told you before, it works almost just as well as a boot when you're trying to dress really casually. And with some distressed denim, it throws the look all together and it just looks really nice because I could very easily wear this out at night and still feel like I'm dressed up enough to go out and just be casual. Obviously some nice shades to match with the outfit I think ties it all together. A watch, a calculator watch, again, is a total conversation starter. So if you're going out and you're trying to meet people, whether it's for a date or otherwise, pieces like that are really smart things to throw into your looks. For hanging at home, Again, guys, I've told you this before, but this is all about just being comfortable and casual, but also starting to sort of flex more bold outfits so that if you do need to run out of the house, you're gonna feel good, but you're also building your comfort level for outfits that might be just a little bit outside of your comfort zone. I'm a huge fan of these nylon pants from H&M, and then this bold striped shirt is from Uniqlo. It's just a fun combo. I really like the brown. It's a little bit different than what you're used to seeing with some sneakers from Koyo, but all together, it's very doable, but it is a little bit bold all at the same time. It's a really good move for practice. And there you go, five simple outfit ideas. Remember guys, you do not have to wear exactly what I'm wearing. Just think about it in terms of categories. Break it down so that you understand how you can combine different things together with what you already have, or maybe what you're gonna go buy for yourself at the mall or whatever, and start creating really stylish but reliable easy looks because when they're in the back of your mind you can go back to them in the future and just kind of mix and match different things within those same categories to still be looking and feeling really good as always there are links down in the description to either the exact thing that i'm wearing or at least something similar so if you want to shop something for yourself it's down there if you have any specific questions you can drop them down in the comments you can dm me on instagram be sure you go follow me there as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. 
I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.